So you might be able to tell that I'm not really uh, awake yet. I, uh, I kind of, I don't get out of bed usually till like 10. So this is early for me. Uh, as evidenced by, you know, different hair, complete lack of understanding about what I'm talking about, stuff like that. It's very fun. All right, back to YouTube video. So what am I expecting? Uh... I, re I already see so many people saying Peter Griffin, Ness, Shrek. God, we, we are great people, aren't we? Um, I am expecting Ashley from WarioWare, actually. Because, like, uh, WarioWare's, uh, what was it called? WarioWare Gold just came out. And I hear it's selling really well. And it's just, it's a little too coincidental to me that, like, you know, we have this direct right after that. And people say, like, someone said she's not an assist trophy anymore, but of course that could be wrong because we don't know about every single assist trophy. Um, yeah, no, I just, uh, I feel like that would make sense. You want Shovel Knight? Hello, X-Pool and no arms. Uh, the person I want to be announced is Gino, as you can see from the title of the stream and the going live notification. It's just, uh, y you know, I, I, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I think it's going to happen. And uh, I apologize if, if there's a really good reaction and I yell and peek my microphone. I, I mean, I don't typically get that excited, but uh, I'll try my best not to ruin your ears. Also, hello, Mike. How are you? Pepsi Man. <laughs> All right, we only got a minute left. Here we go. I wonder if they're going to announce the character, like, first or if we're going to get a bunch of new stuff first. Because I'm also looking forward to, like, a single player mode or something. Something like subspace, but maybe without the great maze, because, you know. Okay. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh, it's starting right away. Oh, it's a Fire Emblem character. Good. Oh, it's Simon Belmont. It's Simon Belmont. Uh, maybe? <laughs> I'm glad they have Luigi in his prime here. <laughs> That's great. It's totally Simon Belmont, though. Here it is. <laughs> oh my god, Luigi, you're so outmatched here. This looks amazing. God, I love the way this looks. It's Ouija. Yeah. Oh, it's the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Whip. Oh my... Oh no. <laughs> you give us his soul back right now! Oh my god. I can't... That's so ridiculous. That... That is... <laughs> Yo! Okay, that's nice quality, YouTube. Thank you. That's so cool! Give me one second to buffer that. Alright, hold on. I'm like a second behind now, but I need the quality. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> nice, nice visual gag. Wow, that's... <laughs> oh, is Dracula gonna be a boss fight? Oh, nice. Rick... What? <laughs> is he like an alternate costume for Simon? Or he must be, right? Or maybe he's an Echo Fighter? Maybe that's what they- <laughs> Maybe that's what they're gonna do from now on. They're gonna announce a new character and then an Echo Fighter for that character? Nice, alright, cool. 
Yeah, no, the cinematics are brilliant. I really wanted to hear, uh... Uh... <laughs> what is... What the heck? <laughs> God, Luigi was way off his pay grade there. Wow. Konnichiwa. Hello. I'm Masahiro Sakura. All right, cool. Limited. This is a follow-up to our recent announcement about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> you bet your ass it was. Jeez. <laughs> the legendary vampire hunter from the Castlevania series, Simon Belmont, is finally joining the roster. That's awesome. That's so cool. He's been given a bit of a makeover. His signature <laughs> item is, of course. I like the walk. Win, it's just like the NES game. Vampire killer. Or uh, NES, as they recently attack, confirmed. It's a bit slow, but I think its average reach during normal attacks is longer than any other fighters. He can move the whip freely. Oh, it's like Super Castlevania 4, <laughs> where you can just like wiggle it around. Oh, the angry video game nerd's gonna be so happy about that. Cross. Holy water. <laughs> Holy heck. And uppercut. While they may seem simple, they are very powerful. And his final smash is called Grand Cross. Anyone else see the new Poltergust? Maybe it's gonna be in like Luigi's Mansion, the remake. They're gonna redesign it a little Simon bit. Simon's stage is none other than Dracula's castle. Yeah. It's the darkest of stages. Oh, I, I hope Super we get Smash Bloody Brothers Tears. Ultimate. That'd be when a great stage, so. The candlesticks <laughs> and item will appear. In this stage, bosses from across the Castlevania series will rear their ugly heads. They make Dracula's castle feel true to the world uh. from whence they came. I have not yet wiped the sleep out of my eyes. <laughs> I'm still so tired. But this is hyping me. This is good. And when speaking of Castlevania, oh, they're a vampire killer. The music. Oh, they got bloody tears. Stage, All right. We will incorporate 34 music tracks. Oh my God! And classic 34 the music Castlevania tracks. Series is very popular wow. Among our music team, and they were excited to work on these Jeez. Now I'm even Once more hyped for the. Uh, Simon's mortal rival will appear. Uh. You say once in a blood moon. I'm really excited for the uh, Castlevania Netflix series to come back. That thing was really good. Dracula, reborn every 100 years. I'll stream later tonight on YouTube. To Ice Assassin, don't worry. Descendants of the Belmont clan. Under what conditions will he appear? Time will tell. He'll only appear on Tuesday now nights at 7 p.m. That's after he gets back from bowling. Ooh, Alucard. Alucard. Son of Dracula will from, now uh, steal in battle. From Castlevania 3! He wields the chrysogram, transforms into a bat, and dodges attacks by assuming mist form. He's very similar to his starring role in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh yeah, that's like right, he was also in Symphony of the Night. I, I haven't played Castlevania that much, but I do know like a little bit about it. To be quite challenging. Not much. <laughs> and we have one more fighter for you. Richter? The vampire hunter I bet a lot of people's hearts just like skip the beat because they're like, there's more? Blood. Richter Belmont joins the battle. Richter is an echo fighter based on Simon. Though his strength is the same, his look, voice, and animations all set him apart. Besides, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version of Simon can perform moves derived from Richter in his original games, so it's hard to say who's really echoing who. I Wait, hope you'll so enjoy them both. They're exactly the same? Farewell. I thought the point of Echo Fighters is that I'd they're like slightly to different. Two more Echo Fighters from completely different series while we're on the topic. Please take a look. Prom? Wow, I, I guess he did get his chance another day. More Fire Emblem characters! People are going to be happy about that. Is he a... Who is he? He's an Echo of Ike. Okay. I mean, I like Krom more than Ike, but... Isn't that like 10 Fire Emblem characters now? Oh no! <laughs> okay, they can play volleyball with Bowser, there's so many of them. They can make up a full two volleyball teams. Uh-oh. People ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> Cool! <laughs> I think
think people will be happy about that. It's finally another Metroid character. Actually, I mean, we did get Ridley. That's right. That's the thing that happened. Forgot about that. I think there's like 10 Fire Emblem characters now. I'm not sure. It's either like 9 or 10. Or 8. <laughs> Don't gang up on Samus. That's mean. Is there a uh, Dark Zero Suit Samus now? Or... No, I just, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Dark, Dark, Dark Samus is not battle, like a human, right? You may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly requested. They're each slightly different than the fighters they're based on, so pick whoever you enjoy most. As you can see, depending on your settings, you can either display all Echo Fighters separately on the Fighter Select screen or stack them with the fighters they're based on. Huh. When stacked, you can switch between them with the press of the button. <laughs> Alright, that's kinda cool. For you daisy purists this time, out there. We plan to reveal the design of every fighter before the game launches. We'll have a few more to announce later, so stay tuned. Alright. Alright, cool. Alright, what do we got for new for stages? stages? We're mainly including returning favorites. Allow me to introduce some of the stages we haven't shown before. Alright. Oh, good. <laughs> I wonder, that's the one where you could see the little picture of uh, Sakurai's cat in the house, right? I wonder if they'll keep that in there. I mean, I don't know why they would remove that. It just seems like a weird thing to, to remove all of a sudden. But Garden of Hope, okay. Yo, alright. I, I kind of thought that stage was fun-ish. <laughs> I wonder if that'll be tournament legal. <laughs> Only in Omega or Battlefield, I assume. Oh, save him! Oh, gee, oh. The Unova League? I don't even remember that stage. Oh, it was on the 3DS, right? Oh, yeah! I love the look of that stage. I'm glad that's back. Rinstar sucked in Super Metroid. Oh, well, yeah, it exploded, didn't it? Alright. Oh, Final Destination's looking... Sunny and happy. Ah, never mind. Now it looks like the apocalypse. That's fine. Things can change like that pretty quickly. Yeah! There it is. <laughs> it hasn't been officially confirmed, but you could see it in Mario's reveal trailer on the uh, Smash website. Oh, it's a moving stage, too. That's awesome. I wonder where it'll be, uh... <laughs> Look at the little, uh... The band members get, like... <laughs> they get imported with, uh, with moving platforms. That is so cool. I'm gonna be playing on that stage a lot, I can already tell you. <laughs> I wonder if people are gonna be like really angry that Pauline's not an Echo Fighter. <gasps> oh, I love Fountain of Dreams! I was wanted that one back! That said, for stages that originally appeared in the Nintendo 64 game, we prioritized nostalgia, intentionally keeping the classic look. The stage total is turning out to be pretty impressive. Let's compare it to the totals in previous games. Alright. Now the total number of stages is... Voila, 103. We must be crazy. <laughs> if it wasn't if hard to pick before... Battlefield, Final Destination, and Big Battlefield, we'd have exactly 100. But take a look at the stage select screen. Every stage can oh also be transformed into both battlefield so, and omega form. So is this every single stage here then? Is actually more than 300. All of these I bet Game Explain is going to be all over that in like 10 battles, minutes. And they are all available from the beginning. Additionally, you have the option to turn off stage hazards. When you're looking for a change of I'm very you happy for the because I like most Select of the stages, but I don't like they have hazards stages. and the the final destination forms kind of are boring sometimes. Also, the order of the stages matches the order in which they were introduced in the series, just like the fighters. Oh, okay, so we're not grouping the fighters by series this time again, which is going Regarding to stages, irritate me again. <laughs> Please take a look. Wait, what? Did it? It's a. I remember that from melee. Check that out. Is While there a stage playing, roulette? Can transform around you. But first, you must Aww. select the stage morph. Option. It's so cool. 
That's a great idea. Then you can pick two stages on the stage select menu. <laughs> That's cool. Feel free to choose any stages you'd like and have fun. Oh, I, I wish it was just like a random selection of all of them, though. That'd be—I mean—that might be too much because it's a. Hey, the Paper Mario stage. Oh, cool. Yeah, that Paper Mario melody. Medley. For the player who wants it all. My music lets you select specific tracks for each stage, and this feature is making a. Oh, we got calamari incantation. That's good. Until now, each stage had its own set of music tracks, but this time the tracks are organized by series instead. For example, as long as you're playing on a stage based on the huh. Legend of Zelda series, you can pick any of the tracks included from that series. That's actually pretty cool too. That's now like what Smash Modding did almost. Music tracks from stages. This Seven is million. Also ultimate. Oh wow! <laughs> More than 800 tracks. You got me. And if we count other types okay. of music, like menus and fan uh, full then OST there's when about 900 compositions. If you played them all in a row, without looping or stopping, there's more than 28 hours worth of music. God damn. <laughs> These game franchises are a big part wow. of video game history, oh my God. and the result is a massive library of memorable music. All of this packed into one oh, game. Oh, the Game Boy Kirby this stage. I loved that one. Is extraordinary. Of course, there's a sound test menu as well. Oh, I'm dying. For your browsing pleasure, my eye won't stop being irritated. By game series. It's great. It's like having an album for each series. I like it. Now I can take the my Switch and put it in my pocket and listen to my music. Stage, 800 tracks. Title, rather than a series, it can be found in the other section. Oh, well, they have a song from Clue Clue Land. You can create nice. your own playlist too. <laughs> them in any order you like. Anytime, oh, that's cool. As much as you I want. mean, that's so unnecessary, but it's cool. Oh, the, the, I wasn't serious. I didn't actually want to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna work out with my switch on the on the dock in front of my treadmill. In handheld mode, you can play music while the screen is turned off. <laughs> Take that, it's YouTube. Like using your Nintendo Can't do that with the app unless you buy your stupid YouTube Premium. A huge variety of music has been collected for the game, and you can sample some of oh, these Oh, I need to hear that Bloody Tears website. after this. <laughs> We're planning to add selections basically every week, so please stay tuned. Rules! If you some stream you this game, Nintendo owns already, your channel. But I'd still like to show you some things about the multiplayer battle rules. Is, it, is the default stock now, please? Now the first thing you will select is the rules. If you create your own rule set, you can immediately begin playing with those rules at any time. Oh, okay, so that's pretty cool. Like, you set your... In it'll just go with the most battle, recent. Stock battle, stamina battle is now treated as one of the standard Smash modes. There's a different feeling of intensity <laughs> in these battles. Okay, cool, so they just... Oh, that's why Link exploded in Ridley's reveal trailer. That this was the time, stamina mode. selection comes before fighter selection. This way, you can pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Or let the last battle's loser pick the next stage to even the odds. Sudden Death! In sudden Death, you not only start with 300% damage, but Is the Xander Mobus coming back as the announcer? Damage. Does anybody know? This creates uh, a I don't nice think sense I've, of urgency. I don't think I've seen a video where they have, like, audio straight from the game. I assume he's back, Chargeable right? Final Smashes are now a selectable option. During a match, oh, so we're PlayStation All Stars now. And then, once it's maxed out, you can use a weaker final smash. Huh? Weaker final smash. A weak ultimate move. A match, things can get really flashy. That's actually kind of cool. Up for I, I like that. Please try it out. By the way, no two final that, smashes will that was weak. simultaneously. Battle mode. It's all gonna be about who can launch the Smash there are first. Other additions to the battle modes too. This game does look amazing. Squad Strike. We've squad. Added in squad Strike. It's a five-on-five five or three-on-three three elimination style battle to decide the winner. Each player will use five consecutive fighters in one. Oh, battle, okay. But I thought it meant ten players or something. Players I was like, wow. Well. Turny, yeah, We're also okay. Including turny mode. <laughs> Mario Shores and CPU participants, Jeez. and the game will automatically structure a tournament bracket. Can you do it like Mario Kart 8 though? 
Up to 32 players can join the tournament, can you, so it's great for parties too. Can you like set it so it goes online? Or we're adding a special smash mode called Smashdown. After a battle in this mode, the previously selected fighters will no longer be available to use in the next battle. So <laughs> player, <a select laughs> they're deleted from fighter. the game's code. It definitely pays off to be skilled with multiple fighters. You could oh. also strategically pick See, a I don't have a main, I just have like several characters that I'm really bad at playing that I enjoy. So that <laughs> that's not the mode the for me, let me tell you. Will feature an exclusive stage. Not you until the modding community so gets here. Easy to measure distance and more. You can also display launch distance. Huh. The red line predicts your trajectory at 0% damage, and the blue line is for 100% damage. You don't have 32 friends. Factored in at the moment of impact. Stop beating up that young inkling man. It's rude. The single player mode in which oh, here we go after this adventure mode. Series of fighters will return in the form of classic mode. I think that was an oh the, the earthbound mushroom is in it. The one that has a set puts the mushroom on your head. That's cool. Opponents they will face. Now, let me introduce you to some new items, Pokemon, and Assist Trophies. Oh, okay. Maybe no adventure mode then. <laughs> That's fine. The game still looks great. Donkey Kong, what was that? I saw malice in his eyes when he did that. What did he do to you? Did he kill your firstborn? Like, jeez. What? Oh god. <laughs> Mac, no! Oh. <laughs> the face of the Grim Reaper. <laughs> he stares at you when it's your time and he goes, okay? <laughs> oh, you use it like a gun. Put that man down. He's just trying to walk around. This is a Donkey Kong Country menu, th uh, no, map screen remix, right? It's a new Pokemon we've never seen before. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's just a giant wall. You put that right at the edge of the stage and your, your opponents will not be able to get back up. We're left to hang on the edge forever. Abra! <laughs> Ain't that convenient. And that was Samus's final smash in a ball. And there's Samus's old final smash when she got on the ship and fired the power laser. Mimikyu, eh? Well, that means no Mimikyu Pikachu Echo. Yeah, we already have Pichu. Oh, God. You've been, uh, hey. That's cool. To Vulpix Echo Fighter. Oh, Mars Shadows. Wait, what just happened? I thought Lucas just. Lucas learned dark arts. Oh, yo. Alright, that's pretty cool. So, can Ditto be, like, KO'd now? Yes. No, zero. Hey. Oh, Mega Man X Remix, though. Oh, he looks weird next to Mega Man. He looks a little too small. But, I mean, you know, that's... Who cares? There's Knuckles. And he's just Sonic for some reason. And there's Crystal. And the hopes and dreams of so many people. Hey! It's Claptrap and not the, uh, the annoying one from Borderlands. Oh my god, Captain's gonna hit you with the bus! <laughs> he's just trying to- Hey, it's Chef Kawasaki! Cool! <laughs> it's Gray Fox. He was in Assist Trophy and Brawl, right? Hey, it's Nikki! She's not dead! Shovel Knight! Yo! <laughs> he's in! He's there! Him and Bomberman get the short end of the stick, but, you know, 
they're here. What the stage is this? Oh, it, okay, it's... I thought it was a Majora's Mask stage. Yo, we have an official shovel like model in the game. Special guest, and another powerful one has just arrived. Who shovel Knight? Shovel Knight music, please. Is it taboo? Oh, it's Monster from Monster Hunter. <laughs> My favorite game about Monster. Monster Hunter series. Rathalos swoops in. There's a lot of stuff in this direct today. He appears as a boss. Oh, is that a Monster Hunter stage then? I I don't know. But he can also show up as an assist trophy. Actually, that that seems pretty overpowered. Before Ridley, and he's bigger than Ridley. Before we go, I'd like us to take a quick look at the main menu. Okay. Well, that green one's adventure, I can tell you that much. It's adventure mode. As you can see, there's a mysterious mode here, but we can't talk about that just yet. Also, it's adventure! there's a dashboard on the right side of the screen. This can be accessed at any time by pressing the ZR button. Options and control descriptions are listed here as well. I still don't like that they have a games and more thing. I think that's... that's all I hated that in the other, in the the other game. The entire development team is putting all of their energy into finishing the game, so please be patient until launch day. Thank you so much for watching. It's Waluigi. Is it- is it K. Rool? Is K. Rool here? Oh my god, wait, really? It's either K. Rool or Rabbit Kong, and I really hope it's not Rabbit Kong. Come on, please. Ah! Yes! Oh my god, he's back! Yeah, that's right. Shut up. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, this is- <laughs> This is perfect! Oh my god, I've wanted this for so long! <laughs> oh my god! Did he- He's got all the- Ah! Uh, he was a pirate and he's a- Can he be a scientist too? Ah! Oh. I don't know what to do other than make stupid noises. This is great. Oh, and the music too. <laughs> oh no! Get him! The age old rivalry. And then Dixie Kong shows up. Nah, we don't need her. <laughs> yes! Bowser's, uh... Wasn't that Bowser's taunt? He... Oh, okay, so they are adding each character to the... Oh, okay, so people were right. We do need to, like, examine the, the empty spaces to see who's gonna be there. Of course Robin's next to Krom. That makes too much sense. <laughs> my god. I need to update my wallpaper now. <laughs> When's that gonna be out? I wanna put that on both my screens again. I have it like laid out so I have one half on one screen, the other half on the other, and it's a little weird looking. But, whoa! All right! <laughs> okay, now we need Gino. We really do. Uh, we got so much more in that that I, <laughs> I thought we were gonna get. God, but, like just Castlevania, are you kidding me? That, that's Simon Belmont, that's such a cool that's so good. That's so awesome. I don't even know what to say. And K. Rule, like... Like, I, I've wanted K. Rule for a long time now. That's so cool. So, K... K. Rule... I, I, it's, it's, it was cr cruel to make us wait this long. 
All right, I need to go do things. But anyway, when is there going to be a stream tonight? I don't know. I'll schedule it later. Um, you saw another empty space? I cannot wait to see who else they have for us. I don't care if there aren't too many left, but uh, I'm just... I, I'm blown away already. This is fantastic. All the music and stages and characters, K. Rule and... I mean, I don't really care about Richter, but like... I mean, they come as a package deal. It doesn't really matter. That's that's awesome, though. And then Dark Samus and Chrom, eh, whatever. Take it or leave it. I'm still going to leave them all on the select screen, like they said, because I just like seeing it more filled out. But, uh... God, all right. If I can get this whatever it is out of my eye, that'd be fantastic. You know what? I'm just going to go. That was really fantastic. I might upload this to the channel later. If not, it'll be on, like, the second channel. So look out for that. I'll let you know if you want to see me scream again and get really disappointed when DDD was in K. Roll's clothes. So, uh, I will see you guys later tonight on my main YouTube channel for a, uh, well, I mean, at 2 o'clock, there's the usual video, and then at, uh, later on, I think we're probably around 7.30, there's probably gonna be a, a stream of something. I might start with Tomodachi and then do, like, uh, Spyro or something. I don't want to do Pokemon today. It's just, that's not that kind of day, but I will see you guys soon. Thank you for coming, and I hope you're as hyped about this as I am, because that was ridiculous. Alright, till the next-